Hello and welcome to the shop. About a year, maybe a year and a half ago, I attempted a pin, or attempted to make a pin blank. And the blank was a failure. I think I had posted some stuff on Facebook about it as I was making it, and I just sort of dropped it because it, it, it was an epic fail. The reason why it was an epic fail was I used CA glue. And CA glue becomes very hard and very brittle when it dries. And when I was turning it, it would just, it would just pieces would explode and blow off of it. Recently, I purchased some epoxy. Now, epoxy is a bit more forgiving. We're going to try that blank again today, and we're going to use epoxy, and we're going to use some gift cards. This is going to be a fun one. Hang around. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start off building this blank by making just a down and dirty jig, and uh, I apologize for the noise in the background, but it's uh, above 90 degrees in the shop, and I've got a portable air conditioner running, so hopefully that doesn't interfere too, too badly with the video. I'm just going to once again use a little hot glue. This is going to be similar to the colored pencil blank that I made a while back. Get a little glue on there and uh, we'll just put this right next to this uh, piece of wood here. I'm going to let this set for a second. Once again, I'm placing the blanks down and rolling them outwards uh, so that the glue squeezes out. And that's going to be good. I'm going to use a card now just to set in here to sort of help me gauge how wide this should be. This jig is going to give me a nice little pocket. I'll be able to put epoxy on my cards, drop them right in here, and build my blank up to the desired height, which I believe is going to be right around three quarters of an inch. I'm going to take my cards and I'm going to rub each one of them on some sandpaper just to kind of rough the cards up a little bit. And this will give the epoxy something to stick to. It takes that sort of slick, shiny edge off the cards. I won't make you watch me sand all of these. I'll go ahead and do it off camera and come back and move on once they're all ready to go. I've mixed up a little five minute epoxy and I'm just going to spread this on the cards and glue them together. Before I do this, I just realized I probably want to put a little bit of uh, wax paper in there. Let's get the first card seated. Let's see. There we go. All right, let's just continue on. After I got my blank glued up, I went ahead and pulled it out of the mold, uh, put some rubber bands on it, and then a couple of clamps just to kind of hold it together nice and tight. I'm just going to leave it here and let it dry. It's a five minute epoxy. Um, it fully sets in like 20 minutes and then it's ready to use in 24 hours. So I'll come back in a little bit, get the clamps off of it, and we'll take a closer look at the blank. The glue is dried on my blank and I'm very happy with how it looks. Now you will notice there's a little bit of slippage down here at the end. But that's a non-issue because here's a standard size pin blank. So we are well within the tolerances of a standard blank. So we can just trim that right off and it'll be a non-issue. I also noticed that a standard slimline tube is just a little bit shorter than the blank. So we're going to cut it this way in hopes of getting four blanks and we'll be able to do possibly two pins. 
I'm going to be able to get four blanks out of this one stack of cards. I'm going to start off by cutting this little lip off and then we'll go ahead and split uh, the four blanks apart. I hope that this gift card blank drills as easily as it cut. Uh, I've got this black card. It was an Aeropostale card that I put right in the center of the stack of blanks. I'm going to try to drill right down through that uh, in hopes of, uh, you know, just kind of giving them a neat little effect. So let me line my bit up here and let's see what happens. Wow, right off the bat, did you see it start to split apart? Not a good sign. Let me, let me get a little CA glue in there and clamp it back together and we'll come back and try this again in a few minutes. I put some thin CA glue on here, put a clamp on it and hit it with some activator. I've also changed the orientation. Before I had it in the uh, vise like this and that allowed the cards to split apart. This time I've changed it like this to press the cards together and I've lowered it in the vise in hopes that that'll help me keep everything nice and tight. Let's try drilling again and see what happens. There's the entry hole. And there's the exit hole, and I kept it pretty darn close to the line, so I'm happy about that. Let's get the other blank drilled. Not bad at all. Let's get the tubes glued in. Both blanks have been tested with the tubes to make sure there are no obstructions. Let's go ahead now and glue them up. Let them set and dry naturally and we'll get them trimmed up. Now that the glue on my tubes is dried, I want to go ahead and square up both ends of the blank and then we're going to round over the edges so we don't have to worry about catching on some of these cards and maybe pulling them off of the pile. got my blanks rounded, but it turned out to be a little on the messy side. What I didn't notice is I had turned my uh, dust collector on and it was running, uh, but there was just pieces were coming off, dust was everywhere, I wasn't sure what was going on, and I realized that the hose had pulled loose from the connection on the other end. So I had, uh, I had it plugged up here at the sander, but it, there was no suction pulling the dust away from these cards back to the collector. But they look pretty good. They're relatively solid. I did lose one piece, but that piece was loose before I started. They feel solid 
everything feels like it's, it's still together fairly tight, they are ready to go to the lathe. I've got the gift card blank chucked up, and I don't mind telling you I am very nervous about turning this one. Uh, don't know what to expect. So we are going to take our time, try to turn as slow as possible, and hopefully I can get a good result out of this blank. Right off the bat, we blew a piece out. I'm gonna go ahead and switch from my roughing gouge over to my skew and uh, see if I can do any better with that tool. I think the blanks would do a lot better if they were a little more round in shape as opposed to being somewhat oval because the oval is allowing me to catch the cards as I go across. I did find the card that belongs right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it glued back on. And then I've got a bunch of other cards laying around here, pieces that we'll go ahead and glue on and build that up. I'll take it back to the sander and I'll try to round it out a little bit. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna start with some medium CA. A little bit on here. I'm going to shoot a little activator on the uh, other half and then I'm going to try to drop it right into place. Okay. Get some more activator on there. Okay, now let me back off the stock and make sure I'm not stuck to my bushings and I'm not so that's a good sign let's see if we can build this up a little bit I've got the next piece that goes on there and there it is right there and you can see where I caught right there on the as the as I was coming across it's just I think it's gonna be a little difficult but I think we're gonna be able to do it Okay, here we go there we go a little shot of activator Okay, I'm going to get these off the lathe. I'm going to go over to the sander, and I don't know that I'll film this part, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand these up. Cleaned up the front blank, and I couldn't get it perfectly round, but I got it closer. The back blank, I rounded out a little bit as well. We're going to give this another spin. I don't know that I'm going to be able to pull this off with uh, my tools because it just keeps catching and tearing. 
Uh, what I am going to do is I've got some uh, 40 grit sandpaper here. So I'm going to try to do a little bit of sanding on this, see if I could take it down with the 40 grit. I know it's going to be tough because I broke so much of this one off. You know what? I may go ahead and, uh, well, you know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and just see if I can take it down with the 40 grit. Let me back this off a little bit so I can get my fingers under there and let's see what happens. I went back over to the belt sander and I took the harsh edges off and I'm going to go after this with my 40 grit and if I, if I can get it to start shaping a little bit then I can drop to 60, 80, so on and so on and I think I'm just going to end up working this down with sandpaper just to see if I can make it work. I did not show all of the sanding that I did to this blank but let me assure you I did a lot of sanding to get it shaped like this. I'm at the point now where I'm going to go ahead and use a little micro mesh and uh, try to wet sand it with that to try to take some of the scratches out, polish it up a little bit uh, in hopes that uh, I can then put a CA finish on it. I think the micromesh really helped. It sort of polished it up a little bit, gave it a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna go ahead now, get uh, these bushings swapped out for my non-stick bushings, and we're gonna put a couple coats of CA on this and see if we can't make it look really nice. I've got five coats of thin and three coats of medium on here. It looks pretty good, feels pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, micromesh it. Uh, first, I'm going to get the, the non-stick bushings off and get the regular turning bushings back on. Then we're going to micro-mesh it and buff it. Blank looks really nice. Uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to get my buffing wheel on here. And I'm just going to try to buff these up and give them a nice shine. Buffing gave the blank a really nice shine. I'm gonna go ahead and get it over to the bench and get it installed in a kit. I'm ready to assemble my pin and I'm gonna start by placing the nib in the front of the pin. Okay. Let me back up here a little bit. I pulled one too many blocks out of my uh, press. Okay, very carefully. i put a little something behind here to cushion that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead now and put the cap and the clip on the other end of the pin. Let's take a, actually, let's get it started. Then we'll take a peek and see where we want to press that in at. You know, I'm thinking right there over those letters, you got a letter on either side. That may be the best place. Take it a little farther down, and then I'm going to flip it up where I can watch it and make sure I put it right in the spot I want it in. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, there's that. Turned out really nice. Now I can take these extra blocks out, slide our press back, and we'll put the transmission in the front half of the pin. Take it in right up to the brass and I stop. And you can see that I'm a little bit shy of where I need to be, so I'm going to tap it just a little farther in. Okay, I went about halfway between the brass and the little uh, indention on the transmission. 
That's much better. Put our trim ring on. I chose a gunmetal colored kit for this. I thought that would look really nice, and I really think it does. I'm going to uh, extend, or I'm sorry, retract the ink completely because you retract the ink, and when you put the pin together, you twist it the way you want it to look. And that's how you usually put a pin together. That way it looks its best when it's uh, retracted. But you know what? I'm thinking I like the red and the red. So let me spin it around. Yeah, I think I like that. I think the pin overall looks really nice. I'm fairly happy with it. It's not one of my best finished pins. Uh, it was difficult to finish. And, uh, you know, I, I would like to have been able to do a little more with it. But I'm happy with what I got. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I hope you enjoyed this project. Now I know that I did a lot more sanding than I did turning for this one, but sometimes the old 60 grit gouge is the only way to go. <laughs> this was a challenge, um, but I'm glad I did it. I needed to prove to myself that I could do it. The first time around, uh, I made it, and I mentioned that earlier in the video, I did it straight up with CA glue. It blew apart like crazy. I thought the epoxy would be a better choice. Um, it blew apart just as bad as it did the first time. I think uh, this is just not one of the better mediums to work with. I am happy with my result. I've made my one, one and done. <laughs> this is it for me. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. You come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening. Take care, everybody.